Hello everyone, this is Dr. Gandhi Sachdeva, one of the mentors of study in our COG and today our wisdom short will be on laparoscopy. So the various techniques of laparoscopy, we can either do a closed technique where we use a baby's needle or an open technique also known as Hassan's technique. The various sites where we can insert the primary trocar is the most common being the applicus. In case there is adhesions, hence then or history of previous surgeries, then we choose a lead wand point which is midway between the zippy sternum and the umbilicus or a palmer's point which is 3 cm below the subcostal line on the mid clavicular line. We can also insert the primary trocar through the vaginal form, posterior fornix. The safe places for entry of the secondary trocar include this dark blue area that is within 1 cm of the midline or more than 8 cm from the midline or this yellow areas also called as Tinelli's yellow island. It is if you dip, uh, dip, form a line from the umbilicus to ASIS it lies between medial two-third and lateral one-third. So these three areas that is within 1 cm of the midline more than 8 cm of the midline and the Tinelli's yellow island that is if you join a line between the umbilicus and ASIS at a junction of medial two-third and lateral one-third, that are the safe areas for insertions of secondary trocar. Now, some important points about bladder injury. So, bladder injury is the most common visceral injury related to laparoscopic pelvic surgeries with an incidence of 0.02 to 8%. And the most common surgical step which leads to bladder injury is when you are dissection, dissecting the bladder from the cervix. And the most common site is the midline above the intertrochantric part. And only 50% of the bladder injuries are uh, recognized intraoperatively. Okay. And the various risk factors which are associated with urinary tract injury could be endometriosis, cancer, adhesions, severe genital prolapse, obesity or pregnant uterus. Now coming over to some important points of ureteric injury. It has an incidence of less than 1% to 2%. However, if there is deep infiltrating endometriosis, the risk of ureteric injury is much high and it is as high as 21%. And the most common site of ureteric injury is at the pelvic brim and lateral to the cervix. The percentage of ureteric injuries which are recognized is intraoperatively is only one third. So most of the patients with ureteric injury, they present in the post-op period. And the most common type of ureteric injury is transaction. So these are the various types of ureteric injury. It could be angulation, crush related injury, ligation, thermal, laceration, transection and resection. And the most common injury is transection. So that was all for today. Thank you so much.